As you can see, my fins are now installed and we can go ahead and put the fillets on. Um, but we need to rough up the surface again. So time for the particle mask and some gloves and some, um, some rough sandpaper. And it doesn't take a lot. We just want to get in along that, along that root edge there. Gives the epoxy something to hang on to. Okay. Bucket of water again just to wipe off the fiberglass dust. Okay, next we're going to mix up some of the epoxy clay because I like using the epoxy clay for fillets because I can do everything all at one time. Um, this is going to take a little bit of, of time and we're going to be mixing up a lot of epoxy. So you, you can defer this until later in the process. Uh, we will be using epoxy clay later um, on the upper part of the rocket. So um, if you want to just hold off on doing the, the fillets for right now, you can do that. Otherwise, uh, you can go ahead and follow along. We're also going to put a fillet on the inside of this centering ring here, or on the outside, rather, along the tube, because remember, we had that flat spot inside there, and I want to make sure that there's no air gaps in there where the ejection charge might come out the bottom. So we'll, we'll add a thin fillet there on the bottom, too. So to do this, Again, we're going to take an equal glob of part A and part B. And this time we're going to get a big glob because we're going to use a lot of epoxy. And I might need a little bit more than that, but we'll, we'll start with that. And we'll just go ahead and knead it together for about three or four minutes. Make sure it's good and mixed. All right, I've got my epoxy clay mixed up and my gap is right in there. And I'm going to make a long snake. It doesn't take a lot of epoxy. You'd be surprised how little will actually work. And at this point, you just kind of press it into the into the into the corner. harder for me because I'm doing it upside down but you, you get the you get the hint And once I'm all the way around, now I can kind of smooth it, try to even it out so that it will look pretty.
Thanks. It's looking pretty good. Um, and if you want to smooth it out, um, just get a little bit of water again. Just dip your finger in the water and apply a little bit of water to the surface and that will really make that nice and smooth. start laying the fillets in along the fins and this is going to seal any of the gaps and it's also going to make it incredibly strong again I want to lay the snake in there press it down and tight and then and you can come back and start smoothing back and forth wet your finger again and smooth it out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this and then we'll come back. Okay, I've finished up my uh, fillets um, and you want to go back and you want to look at the edges. Um, the, the more work you put in now, the easier it's going to be later when you go to sand the rocket to make your fillets look pretty. Um, so if you, if you look along the edge and the, and the edge doesn't look straight, what you can do is take a uh, single edge razor blade and just kind of cut off the part that overhangs. You just kind of, you know, press it down in there. And then you know, use a little bit more water and just you know, work that edge. Make it nice and straight, nice and smooth. Make it nice and pretty. Um, and then when you're done with that, just kind of look over the, uh, the rocket. Make sure you didn't leave any blobs of epoxy clay on it. Um, and if you have leftover epoxy clay, just take a little bit little pea size amount and we want to put it on the inside of the uh, launch lug um, just so we cover up the edges so that there's nothing for the parachute to get hung up on Let's see if I can get it in there. and remember there's that hole that you made next to it for the uh, vent hole so make sure that you don't cover that up And again, you can smooth it out with a little bit of water. Work those edges. The smoother those edges, you know, the less likely you're going to catch something on there. All right. That'd be good.